have a look at the set of these eight questions uh, question number 1 and 2 question number 3 and 4 question 5 and 6 question 7 and questioning what is the estimated real gdp growth for india in fiscal year 2025 so as per economic survey this was given to be uh, uh 6.4% right okay which of the following statements about india's external sector in fiscal year 2025 is true right. so India's overall exports grew by 12.8 percent year on year during April to December 2024. No, it is not overall exports. India's service exports grew. Right, service exports grew. India's gross GDP inflows increased from 50 55.6 billion US dollars in the first eight months of fiscal year 25. That is true. Right. so i think in the uh, earlier year it was around 47.2 billion in the first 8 months and for the first 8 months of fiscal year 2025 it is 55.6 year so this is completely right india's foreign exchange reserves at the end of december 2024 were usd 704.9 million um this figure is for the the uh, end of december uh, India's foreign exchange reserves at the end of December 2024 were USD 704.9 billion. This was not 704.9 billion, but 640.3 billion uh, US dollars, right? And India's merchandise exports grew by 5.2 percent uh, uh, year on year in April December 2024. It was not exports which grew. merchandise exports it was merchandise imports which grew right so a c and d are uh, not correct but b is correct india's unemployment rate declined to 3.2% in 2023 from 6% in 2017 18 so what is the correct uh, reason uh, as per the economic survey so the 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 main reason was that uh, increased formalization of jobs post pandemic right so india's labor market growth in recent year has been supported by the post pandemic recovery right and increased formalization so these were not the correct uh, options uh, so what percentage of india's total health expenditure was covered by government spending in fiscal year 2022 so from fiscal year 2015 to fiscal year 2025 the share of the government health expenditure it has increased from uh, 29% to 48% so for the year ending fiscal fiscal year ending uh, 2015 it was 29% for fiscal year ending 2022 it was 48% right a uh, government share in spending health health spending the self reliant india fund was launched with a corpus of 50000 crores to support which sector it was msmes economic survey of 2024 states that india's foreign exchange reserves at the end of december 2024 was sufficient to cover um now this is a very specific question so it was 10.9 months of imports and approximately 90% of the external debt right so uh, this is the correct answer which of the following is not mentioned as a key driver of agricultural growth in fiscal year 2025 uh, so what were the drivers of agricultural growth horticulture livestock fisheries but agri tech startups is not mentioned as uh, the key driver of agricultural growth so according to the survey which of the following statements about india's retailed retail trend is uh, is true right so if you look at uh, the first option retail headline inflation remains steady at 5.4% in april december 2024 well uh, it was not 5.4% in fact it has softened softened to 4.9% consumer food price index inflation decreased from 8.4% to 7.5% it has it has not decreased it has increased so this is also not correct 
RBI has set up an inflation target of 3%. No, it was not 3%. It was 4% for the fiscal year 2026. So, and food inflation was mainly driven by vegetables and pulses. That is completely correct. Right. So food inflation, it has increased from 7.5% in fiscal year 2024 to 8.4% uh, in uh, fiscal year 2025, April, December, April, December. Right, April to December. So this was uh, uh, this option is correct. So these were taken from the summary of economic survey. <clears throat> I've also made one video on that, but you can also read the summary of economic survey too. So I hope it was useful to you. Thank you, Bita.